This video will introduce you to the TVU Command Center home screen. Before you begin, get login credentials by registering with TVU Support. Let's take a look at the interface starting with the home screen. All of your receiver and transceiver units are listed here in the receiver list section on the left side. All of your TVU video and external sources are in this section to the right. To control what you can see in the receiver list, click on the status drop-down menu and click the check mark boxes to include or exclude views of receivers that are live, online, or offline. The red color status indicates the receiver is live, green indicates the receiver is online, and gray is offline. Choosing dynamic sorting places the online and live receivers on the top of the list. Access your customized bookmarks here. We explain how to create bookmarks in a separate video. To find a particular receiver, simply type its name in the search box. Click on multi-control to open up a window that allows you to monitor and control up to six receivers, transmitters, and sources. Use the select drop-down menu to choose which receivers or sources you want to monitor, manage, and control. Click X to close the window. Click on a receiver name on the left side and a separate window labeled Receiver Control will open. In this window are the audio level meters, video preview, histogram, and connection information. You can change the histogram view by going into this drop-down menu. To choose a TVU transmitter or device that is paired with this receiver, click on the drop-down menu and choose a source to go live with. You can manually set your latency and bitrate by using the corresponding sliders or by entering specific numbers in the respective boxes. We recommend you select VBR for all live transmissions. To start your live transmission, press Live. To end the live transmission, press Stop. Click X in the top right to close out the window. In this section on the right is where you'll find your TVU transmitters, devices, and video sources. The status, bookmark, and search functions work the same way with your TVU video sources as they do in the receiver list section explained earlier in this video. The filter option allows you to choose all sources, TVU1, TVU Grid, TVU Anywhere, etc. for total control of your TVU solutions. This plus button is for adding external sources such as a YouTube streaming source or any live streaming source. Just choose the type, enter the URL, and name it. All video sources are viewable either in a grid view or as a list view by clicking here in the top right. Your page controls are here. Click on any source and the source control window will open, which is similar to the receiver control window with audio levels, source preview, histogram connection information, latency, and bitrate controls. Click on this drop-down menu to select the receiver you want to go live with and press live to start the live transmission and stop to end the live transmission. Press X to close out the window. Press this button in the upper right to access other TVU services functions and features. And press this icon to log out. You are now ready to use the home screen function in the TVU command center.